What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and we have something special today for you guys. As you guys know in the past, me and Jack, we bred betas, right? We did some beta fish breeding. It was successful. Me and Jack are good at it. So today we're starting on a whole new journey, right? We're starting a whole new journey breeding clownfish. You guys love the clownfish video. We did. And I can't even show you guys the tank of the clownfish right now. I would, I want to show you guys the tank in this video, but you're not allowed to see it because we got some major surprises in that tank. So if you guys want to see that, see the actual surprise in this tank in our next video, you need to hit the like button right now. If this video gets 1200 likes, I will show you what is inside of that tank. The surprise. It's a major surprise. You guys are going to love it, but I'm not going to show you unless this video hits 1200 likes. So go down and smash the like button so we can move on. I want to show you guys. It's exciting. You should be excited too. So hit the like button. And we'll move that on to the next video. But before we hop into it, comment shout out of the day. If you guys want to win a comment shout out, just throw something down in the comments. Nice. Today's comment shout out goes to Sarang. I hope I'm saying that right. The comment is love the fish, love the video, love the channel, because you guys are awesome. Doesn't get much better. Short than that. and sweet, love it. Does it get much better than that, guys? No. Throw some comments down if you guys want to win a comment shout out in our next video. Throw it down. That was a perfect comment, right to the point. Right to the point. Also, guys, if you want extra content, because we love dishing out content, if you guys want extra content, go to Jack and Chris Vlogs. It's our second channel. I'm going to link it in the comments and in the description. Go click on it. Hit the subscribe button there so you can keep up with all the videos that we post. We post a lot of videos, so two channels, double the content, double the videos. You guys are going to love it. Now, something happened to our audio. We actually filmed this video like two days ago, but we got a new mic for our camera, and the audio just was sounded like it was going through a washing machine. It was terrible. It ruined the whole video. We step by step set up a whole tank for you guys. We got we even got fish for the tank, which I'll show you just in a second. So we set up this tank last week and we just realized the audio sucked. So we had to redo this whole video. So here's a quick time lapse because I cannot show you the audio or else your ears will fall off your head. Here's a quick time lapse of us setting up the tank. So yeah, that's us setting up the tank. It's right there in the corner. We got a little adjustment, but here it is right here with the damsels in it. We got our makeshift lids because you, we do not want them jumping out or evaporation. Salt water, you do not want it to evaporate because then you just gotta keep buying more water. So, so the fish we got for this tank is actually two black damsels. They're hiding because they're scared. Where are they? They're, you literally, you guys, you're not gonna be able to see them. Yeah. Under the filter? Yeah, oh, yeah, there he is. They have their little spots in there. So that's just to help cycle the tank and get it all going. But the tank look, looks good right now. We're just gonna fix the sand and fix the rock and then we'll explain the whole process of the beta. Of the, uh, beta. the beta, oh my God. Dude. And then we'll, after we fix the rock, we're gonna explain the process of the whole clownfish breeding. Oh, there they are. Yep, they're the damsels when we pick up the rock. Look at them, darting around. They're right, crazy looking. All right, but yeah, these so are actually some pretty angry damsels. They're not friendly fish. They like to mess with everything, but they're pretty cool. So for now, it looks good. Okay guys, originally we had our rock like, like, like this, this way right here. Like so this way we could see the clownfish, but Daryl at Barrier Reef actually said it's best to have the rock if it's the other way, because I, I guess the, the beta, it's clownfish, we're breeding clownfish. Oh. I guess when the clownfish are doing their thing, they, they obviously want privacy, so they're gonna be behind the wall and then they'll lay their eggs up underneath. So that's why we have this exact rock. So it's kind of like a cave, so they can swim in through back here and do their business that they need to be done, that needs to be done. And uh, yeah, then they can lay their eggs up under the rocks and I don't know, it's supposed to be, I don't know how fit, quick it's gonna be. We don't even know when we're gonna get our breeding pair in, but they're hunting, they're hunting very hard. And what, what we're worried about, or what they're worried about, is if they ask their wholesaler, can you get us a breeding uh, pair of clowns? And they might just uh, just send them two random clowns that never even have bred before, just so they can 
get these two clowns out there, but we're hoping that maybe a customer will bring in these a breeding pair of clowns and say, listen, my clowns always breed, they always lay eggs, and uh, I don't want them anymore. So here you go, and then they're gonna come to us. So it might be a month before we see a breeding pair. It could be tomorrow, we don't know, so make sure you stay up to date, because guys, we're gonna have so freaking many of these clowns. They're supposed to lay, like literally, they're supposed to lay like literally 250 babies, we actually, Chris and I actually bred guppies as well since, I mean, guppies aren't too hard to breed. If you have a male and a female in your tank, you're, they're most likely gonna breed. But once these things do have babies, lay eggs, and uh, they hatch, we're gonna put them in there in like floating baskets. Yeah. In floating baskets. You're not baskets. allowed to see the tank, so. Yeah. And like a, I forget what they're called. It's like a, it's like a blue with white mesh netting so they can't get out, but that's where we're gonna put them because eventually, guys, that tank that you can't see is literally gonna have like over a hundred clownfish and some big anemones and it's basically just gonna be a huge clownfish tank with anemones and it's just gonna be sick, so. Yeah. We're, we're excited about it, that's for sure. Also, what's good is that we can't get these clowns right away because we need our tank to cycle. So right now, actually, we have the damsels in here for a reason and that is to cycle the tank so they can pee and poop and whatever. Just go to the bathroom in the tank. That way, we start to build bacteria in there but that's kind of like the whole science thing about it, but I'm sure you guys don't really care unless you're trying to do it yourself. But, man, I really wish we didn't lose our audio because it was actually a really good, it was really good beginner's video. guide, good tip of how to do it each step. Yeah, but guess what, we got, we got screwed. We got screwed, yeah. Just so like now, the lids, when the lids fell off the tank, we got about an inch of water gone. Yes, but I think we're gonna Already. get new ones. So, this is a good week so far, the lids, Shattered and then the audio new mic went. audio yeah. shattered when we're trying to do good things get yeah, new try, audio for yeah, you guys try, Trying to make bangers for you guys and just it happens, but that's life. Kobe. So we got to be patient We got to really just be patient wait our turn to get a nice breeding pair We're not gonna rush into it. So as soon as we see a good one We're gonna take them up. There was five at the store last week and we missed all of them We didn't have this tank set up and we didn't have it wasn't properly it wasn't ready yet so we missed all five pairs gone. So that's the tank. I'm gonna, there's gonna be a lot, in, it's gonna be in a lot more videos. There's not much to show you right now. I wanted to show the setup, but the audio went out. So this is the tank right here for the clownfish breeding. I hope you guys are excited. Remember, smash the like button if you guys wanna see the surprise in that tank. So now that we've talked about this, we've talked about how the breeding pair might take a second to get. Let's give a quick update to the big boys out back. So, we haven't shown you guys this pond in a while. Look how good it looks, guys. Nice and clear, crystal looking terrific. It's actually been really cold in Florida. It was like 40 degrees yesterday. So, uh, yeah, freezing to us. So we had to put this blue tarp over it, make sure all the heat stayed in the water because you don't wanna mess with the temperature. You don't wanna go up and down with the temperature in the pond. <laughs> It'll mess with everything. Oh my God, was that the peacock? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it's not good for the fish when the temperatures are fluctuating. So we got some beautiful fillets out here. We're gonna feed these boys. Thomas the Gar. Wow, there we go. There you go. So I know we've been oh. saying this. What happened, you got robbed? <laughs> everything wants to, everything whenever, wants to kill whenever he eats, dude, everything wants to kill him, bro. Target. What happens there? The bass. Oh, badass. The bass gets every piece, dude. Right. Throw it right here. I'm gonna give a huge chunk to, to Jeremy. And this is our big boy Jeremy. If you guys haven't know, don't know, that's our big man Jeremy. Right next to him is Willie. We got Jeremy and Willie. That's their favorite food. Dude. They're crazy. So aggressive. They're crazy fish. But they are getting big, and I know we've said this a million times. You sound like a broken record. We're waiting for the winter to, to be done, and then we're building a bigger pond. We're gonna make it sick for you guys. We know you guys want to see something awesome, so we're gonna knock this thing down. This whole thing. We're getting a quote on Thursday. Yeah, we're getting a we're getting a quote on the pond soon, and then we want to wait till all this cold weather passes because it's gonna be a little bit, probably another month, and then we're gonna build a, a big boy, a big boy right here, so we can house a lot more fish and house these guys for life, because we want them for life. We love them. This is I think this is my favorite, by far my favorite fish. Love these guys. Look at this tiger shell nose. This thing used to only eat pellets. <laughs> that thing used to only eat one pellet at a time. Literally, we throw a hundred pellets in and eat one at a time. It'd take him ten hours to eat, have a meal. So, we tri we got him over to tilapia. He's yeah. doing good. Uh, yeah, everything's just killing it in here. 
but they just need a bigger place. They by far they need it. They need a bigger place. It's too small for yeah. them. So coming soon, pond in 2020. Bars buzzing. Stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit the like button if you guys want to see that surprise. Comment, shout out down below, and go subscribe to Jack and Chris Vlogs for more content. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.